Many thanks to all the devotees who have assembled here to participate in this Shravan Kirtan camp, especially to all those who are facilitating in so many ways. The first thing that we notice when we come here is the beautiful Rangoli. It's not only us who are coming here who see it, but others also. I, I've, coming here I see other passers by, they look and they are surprised and impressed. Indirectly it's giving a message to the ladies of modern India that they should maintain the culture. Otherwise, gradually, all these things will be forgotten. Thanks to the cooks, I guess that should be said after prasadam. We have to see whether to say thanks or not. But generally, generally, it's worth coming to the Shravan Kirtan camp, even if you don't have a taste for Shravan Kirtan. The prasadam is worth coming for. So organizers and book distributors, those who read Telugu and who didn't yet get a copy of the Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita in Telugu, recently released, you should not leave this camp without a copy, a set for your home. What's that? You're giving a discount? Or oh, installment. You can pay in three installments. It's the modern system. Everything's by installment. So, continuing the discussion of how there is no Krishna Chaitanya without Nityananda, no Nityananda without Krishna Chaitanya. The two are the same tattva, generic tattva is known as Vishnu tattva, although uh, Krishna is the supreme enjoyer. He's the origin even of all the Vishnu forms and Balaram is also the origin of all the Vishnu forms. So Chaitanya Mahabhu is the most merciful avatar But he manifests much of that mercy through others, just as Krishna Vinashayata Dushkritam. He comes to destroy the rascals. He kills many rascals himself, but he also does through uh, Bhima and Arjuna and others also, others of the Pandavas. Uh, so he, he doesn't do it all himself. He empowers others to do so also. So in this age, uh, there's no use to kill the rascals because there's so many. It's, it would depopulate the earth. That's one of the purposes of the creation is to fill up the earth. Yes. There are so many. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu very mercifully kills their demoniac propensity. He personally delivers many, many conditioned souls and does so through Nityananda, Advaita, uh, Gadadha, and Srivas Adi Gaur Bhaktavrinda. Uh, Particularly Nityananda Prabhu demonstrates the pastimes of a preacher and of being very, very merciful. So that Sankirtan movement that they inaugurated, the first verse of Chaitanya Bhagavat describes them as the two inaugurators of the Sankirtan movement uh, or the, the fathers 
of the Sankirtan movement. How does that verse begin? First verse of Chaitanya Bhagavat just went blank. Hmm? Ajanu lambita bhujo kanakabhata tau sankirtanai kapitaro kamalaya taksho vishvam bharo dvijavaro yoga dharma palao vande jagat priyakaro karunavataro. So the book is known as Chaitanya Bhagavat, but there is much there also description of the pastimes of Lord Nityananda. By Vrindavan Dash Thakur. At some point, someone, probably either the someone from the Nitya, so called Nityananda Vamsha, or someone commissioned by them, took the chapters from Chaitanya Bhagavat uh, and added three more imaginary chapters and published it as the Nityananda Charitamrita, ascribing it to Vrindavan Das. But it's bogus, even though it's circulated within ISKCON, but I made much protest at the time, but who cares for Siddhanta or philosophy or what's the truth? It's, people like it, that's the, that's the justification, but it's bogus. It's, it's to bolster the Nityananda Vamsa, so-called Nityananda Vamsa idea. That anyway, they have so many bogus ideas. We need not discuss them here. So, uh, Chaitanya Bhagavat, there's much description of Nityananda also by Vrindavan Dash Thakur, the author, uh, who is the last disciple of Nityananda, chronologically the last. And who several times therein states, Tobe lati maro tar shire upare. The line before that is different in each case, but basically in each case he says that those who do not accept Nityananda, I kick them in the head. Exhibiting Vaishnava compassion. Because if anyone was fortunate enough to get the foot of Vrindavan Dash Thakur on their head, they would certainly be uh, benefited. So he says, uh, he describes Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda. So it's Chaitanya Bhagavad. It's not Chaitanya Nityananda Bhagavad. But again the point is, there's no Krishna Chaitanya without Nityananda. So Ajanu Lambita Bhujo. They both have long arms arms which stretch down to their knees which is one of the signs of a great personality according to the section of the Garuda Purana called Samudraka which describes physiognomy so Ajanulambita Bhujo Kanakavata To they have a shining golden countenance they are the only fathers of the Sankirtan movement. Sankirtan in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Krishnadas Kaviraj says, Sankirtan Prabhatak Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Ah. <clears throat> Sankirtan Jagge J Bhaje Shaidhana. He says that the inaugurator of the Sankirtan movement is Sri Krishna Chaitanya, and whoever worships him by Sankirtan is fortunate, glorious. This is a Bengali, partial Bengali versification of the famous Yajyai Sankirtana Prayer Yajanti Hi Sumedasa Krishna Vana Tusha Krishna Sangopanga Astra Parashadam Yajyai Sankirtana Prayer Yajanti Hi Sumedasa This famous verse. If you don't know it, find out and learn it. You should know it. If you, uh, so there he says Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the inaugurator, but uh, else it's understood he does so with his devotees. Shabloya kore nitta biha. He take with all his devotees. Shri shabloya kore nitta biha. With all his devotees, he performs his eternal pastimes. So among the devotees, 
the most prominent is Nityananda Prabhu. Uh, so together these two are the fathers or the inaugurators of the Sankirtan movement. Sankirtan Aika Pitaro Kamalaya show Their eyes are, are just like lotus petals. Very beautiful. Uh, they are, although Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his family name, was given Vishwamba, the maintainer of the universe, they both have that quality of being the maintainer of the universe. Vishwambaro, Dvijavaro, they are the best. Although they are transcendental to all mundane considerations, they both appear in the family of brahmanas and they are the best of the twice-born. They are the uh, maintainers of the uh, Yuga Dharma, Harinam Sankitan, Yuga Dharma. So, Vande Jagat Priyakur, he Vish, Vrindavan Das offers his obeisances to both of them who are very dear to the world and both of whom are very merciful inv- avatars, Karuna Avatara. In Chaitanya Charitamrita also, pastimes of Nityananda Prabhu are explained, which are not described in Chaitanya Bhagavat. And uh, particularly, uh, we get Chaitanya Mahaprabhu via Nityananda. We get Chaitanya Bhagavat by the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, because... Ch- uh, Chaitanya Bhagavat's author was Vrindavan Das, who was a disciple of Nityananda Prabhu. And <coughs> Chaitanya Charitamrita was compiled by Krishna Das. He describes in the eighth chapter of Adi Lila the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu upon himself. How Krishna Das Kaviraj argued with his elder brother, who had faith in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but not Nityananda. And, and Krishna's Kaviraj uh, strongly spoke against this idea that you can't have Krishna Chaitanya. Well, he spoke saying that you can't have Krishna Chaitanya without Nityananda. It's Arda Kukutinyai. It's taking half of one whole, but you need the whole. Uh, so in a dream that night, Nityananda Prabhu came, not in his characteristic golden form, but in a blackish form, accompanied by his cowherd boys. And he congratulated Krishna Das for his good quality in chastising his elder brother, which normally a younger brother wouldn't chastise his elder brother. And he told him to go to Vrindavan. Vrindavana jaho jaha tomar sharva labbohoi, where all your everything will be. You will gain everything there. So, on that order, when Krishna he woke up the next morning, left home, went to Vrindavan, and uh, there he got the order to uh, compile the later pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which we now have as Chaitanya Charitamrita. So, in both ways, we get Chaitanya Mahaprabhu via Vrindavan Das Thakur, via Krishna Kaviraj Goswami, by the mercy of Nityananda. So there's no Krishna Chaitanya without Nityananda. <clears throat> so it's our uh, good fortune that they, it's the good fortune of all the universe that they came. They inaugurated the Sankirtan movement and it's still going on and we are very fortunate to be able to partake in it. Uh, the, the most merciful Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu inaugurated the chanting of the holy names of Krishna uh, which is actually meant for liberated souls but they have very mercifully given that to non-liberated, so they can become liberated and much more than liberated. This is all the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which uh, we have received through Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada superficially came alone to America with no material assets except 40 rupees, but he carried the wealth 
of the whole Sampradaya. The, the Sampradaya that was inaugurated by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu and uh, which was codified by the six Goswamis. The teachings were compiled and codified on Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's order in Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami gave Chaitanya Charitamrita. Narottam Das gave the teachings which were in Sanskrit. He gave them in Bengali. Srinivas, Shamananda, Narottam spread it all very widely. Three generations later, Vishwanath Chakravar Thakur made his particular contributions in forms of uh, commentaries to further reveal the inner pastimes of Vrindavan that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had revealed through Rupa and Raghunath, particularly Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami. Vishwanath Chakravar Thakur also gave solidly the direction of the Gorya Sampradaya or its, uh, its paramopasya, the, the ultimate goal of its worship uh, as being uh, worship of Radha and Krishna in parakya bhav, paramo feelings. <coughs> mm. uh, Balade Vidya Bhushan further solidified the Gorya Sampradaya by presenting his Govinda Bhasha. Then in later generations, uh, Jagannath Das Babaji, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Gokisha Das Babaji, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswat Thakur, and Srila Prabhupada brought all these Acharyas. They were all empowered by Nityananda Prabhu. And he was, Srila Prabhupada was empowered by Nityananda Prabhu to fulfill the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda and all the previous Acharyas. We just, in the list of Acharyas we have, there's only a few. There are so many great Vaishnavas who have walked this earth. Uh, and they're all very powerful. Ramanda, Tarite, Shakti, Dhare, Jane, Jane. Every one of them is powerful enough to deliver the universe, but that was particularly done through Srila Prabhupada. And that's going on still. As much as we stick to the principles of the Sampradaya, of the Parampara, as given to us by Srila Prabhupada, then that much the potency of the holy name will continue to purify the world. But if we, by mental speculation or laziness, try to change anything or drop anything, then it will all become useless or worse, as was, became the case in Bengal in particular with all the various uh, upper sampradayas or caricatures of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement that may have seemed to be Actual Vaishnavas, but yeah, caricature means something like they're actors on a stage. They're not really. They're not really that person. They appear to be that person, but they're not. They're not the real thing. Prabhupada was the real thing. So Srila Prabhupada, by the mercy of Nityananda, he uh, established so many temples all over the world purified so many Jagais and Madhais. Nowadays, many of the things Jagai and Madhai did, people would think, well, what's wrong with that? It's just normal. Uh, people are so fallen, they don't even know what is right and what is wrong. Uh, but still they're wrong. It, it, just because by popular opinion, what they think is right, doesn't make it right. It's still sinful, and they still have to suffer for that sinful reaction. So Srila Prabhupada, he, he very clearly delineated what is right and what is wrong on the basis of Shastra. And in this way, giving the holy names and the teachings of the Shastra uh, re uh, received in Parampara, he delivered many, many thousands of Jagais and Madhais and continues to do so through his ISKCON movement as much as it follows the parampara properly. So in this way, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu 
continue to di- to oversee and direct their own movement. This Krishna conscious movement means the movement of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda. Sometimes people talk about ISKCON philosophy. It's not ISKCON is a medium. It's not ISKCON philosophy. It's it's the Gauriya Siddhanta or the teachings of Lord Chaitanya which represent the ultimate limit of understanding of the highest truth. Uh, <clears throat> so they've arisen simultaneously on the horizon of Bengal and spread, spread, spread their benediction all over the world. And just the, the sun and the moon, they give us light so we should take advantage of this and light up our lives with the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda. By the way, I'm saying you should take Chaitanya Charitamrita. Uh, you really should, because it's not just that we want to boost up our book distribution scores or get some more money or some such thing, but your life will be so much benefited and enriched those who have read Chaitanya Charitamrita they can understand what I'm saying it's, it's, it's truly Amrita truly nectar so please take advantage of that and make your life most blissful on this is the proper day to take it on Nityananda Chayodashi it's very very suitable day for taking this Okay, so uh, we'll sing one more. Nityananda Kirtan. Nitai Gunamani Ama. Nitai Gunamani. Can you find that and tell us which page it's on? find it? So, Lochandas, again. The last song we sung was also by Lochandas. He sings, My Nitai is a jewel of good qualities. And he brought a flood of praying, love of Krishna, and inundated this earth. So bringing the flood, he came to Gauradesh, West Bengal, and he drowned. He drowned all the devotees. Drown means to drown in love of God. It's, it's metaphorical language. To be drowned in love of God is very good. But the Dino Hino, the rascals, the fallen, they floated. They didn't, want to, they didn't want to drown in the ocean of love of God. They tried to avoid it. However, Nityananda, he didn't, he didn't want, he didn't let them, the, the fallen, the lowly, the rascals, the sinful, he didn't allow them to survive in that condition. He didn't allow them to not be Krishna conscious. But rather he gave to all of them Krishna Prem at a level that is very rare even for Lord Brahma what to speak of others. Hare Krishna. So from the Uh, unbounded boundless which means limitless ocean of mercy Nitai which means Nityananda 
he cut a canal. He made it, brought that canal of, canal of mercy. Again, it's metaphorical language. And wandering from door to door, he brought this uh, flood of nectar. Lochan, Lochan Das says, My Nittai, whoever does not worship him, such a person is knowingly, willingly committing suicide. Nittai guna mami ama Nittai guna mani Nittai guna Nithai guna mani amar Nithai guna mani Nithai guna
आबध करुणा सिंधु निथाय कठिया मोहा घरे घरे बोले प्रेम हमी आरा घरे घरे बोले प्रेम हमी आरा चंदले मरने चाय देवाना बजल लोचन बोले लोचन बोले मरने चाय देवाना बजल चनिया सुनिया से आठ खती है ल जानिया सुनिया से आत्मघाती है हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे 